rather handsome achievement of ours, the Queen Mary, has inspired other countries to shipbuilding heights. And from New York comes this model of a new Atlantic liner, designed, it said, for the comfort of the masses and not the luxury of the classics. In the event of war, the funnels can be dipped and concealed, and the whole ship stripped of everything that would make an easy target. Indeed, there's hardly a part of the boat that's not convertible, and they say that even the soda can be turned into whiskey. When the upper deck is cleared, it can be used as a plane carrier. It's rather a pity that this Atlantic notion isn't a little bit more Pacific. A peaceful idea like this, for instance, which a French inventor has evolved with the object of getting all the fun out of rowing with none of the fatigue. The mechanism resembles a pumping engine, and the vertical oars reduce the water resistance to even less than a teetotaler's. While rowing suits some, throwing appeals to others, like these Austrian schoolboys who have taken up judo, a form of jujitsu, or catch-as-catch-can wrestling. Having been shown how to dislocate an assailant's arm, they proceed to wipe the floor with each other. There's no buy your leave about it either. They must have heard that a grapple a day keeps the doctor away. We certainly don't blame the doctor for keeping away. These lads are just about as nimble on their feet as a racecourse Welsher. With judo, when some people are in the throws, there's really no holding them. Thank you. 